Welcome to John's Random Tool Tips. Hi, welcome back to John's Random Reviews. This is a special what special episode of John's Tool Tips. To tips on tools. Well, in my limited knowledge, anyway, this is the amazing Makita 40 volt max combi drill, and the model number is HP001G. And it is an absolute beast. But, but, I was using it at work the other day and then a work colleague borrowed it and he said, oh, the chuck's jammed. And I was like, you what? Thinking he's, he's misused it or, oh, it's been damaged or it's gone faulty. Things go faulty, you know. Fucking hell. Things go faulty. Even Makita stuff. So, I had a look at it. So, I'm, in this video, I'm going to go through... It's not a problem, it's something you should be aware of. So first things first, why have they put that in the casting of this aluminium gearbox housing? Why have they put a picture of a hammer on both sides? I know it's a combi drill, but if you're going to buy a combi drill, you pretty much know it's got a hammer setting. There it is. Why has it got it in the casting? Anyway, we're not talking about that. Right, so let's say you're doing some drilling. Let's say you've got like this um, high speed drill bit in. I don't know if you can see, it's a nine mil. So what you do, what you do, you get what you do. You loosen the chuck a little bit. And then you get the drill bit in. And then you tighten it up like that. You actually are meant to click it back once like that. So it holds. So you're all sorted for a bit of drilling. And then you want to change to a screwdriver bit. No problem. Now, ev now you could say, well, we'll just loosen it, loosen it off a little bit, and then have I got that right way? Like that. Sorry, wrong way. Take that out, and then loosen it by hand like that to get it right. And then put the screwdriver bit in. I suppose that's what you should do, and it clicks like that. And then same again, loosen it off. And then you can put other drill bits in. But that's not what you do. Well, that's not what I do anyway. So what I generally do, let's let's put this bloody hell. Fucking butterf I'll never make the cricket team. What it what I do is is I'll think oh, I'm gonna change the bit, I'll put it in reverse, and then spin that back. And what happens is this drill is so powerful that if you're not careful, it runs the jaws right back into the back of the chuck and it seems like it's jammed and also hang on a minute it's done another thing before we go into that the ring adjuster there that goes from normal drilling to screwdrivering to hammer in my opinion is a little bit loose it's a little bit slack so if you're changing bits it's quite easy for it to go on to screw mode and next thing you're doing some drilling and it's cut out well it stopped working because it's on screw mode so i think that indent is it called an indent or something the way where it changes like that it should be a bit tighter so it's less likely to do that anyway back to the back to the problem in hand my work colleague gave me this drill and he said oh the chucks the chucks actually jammed and this is such a powerful drill if you hold on to the chuck while you're releasing a drill bit and the jaws get driven all the way back so it's fully open like that you can see hang on maybe you see the jaws are all the way to the back it has a tendency to jam. So what happens is, um, let's say you want to tighten, tight, you know, you want to make the jaws smaller. It's okay now, it's done it. But sometimes, I'll see if I can get it to do it. Yeah, see that? It's gone really, really tight and it won't release the truck. You see that, hear that click? It's done it then. Hang on a minute. You see what I mean? Oh, bloody hell. Hang on. There. Whoa. Oh, we're not having much luck today. And let's make sure we get we're doing this right. Where's the thing at? Yeah, it should be right. It's yeah, it's done it. 
Right, that was a right carry on. And it can work the other way as well. If you kind of want to tighten up onto a little, a little bit, and you run it right to the end like that, and then you want to try and loosen it, it's done it. It's actually better that way. Oh my God, that's made me tired. It stressed me out a little bit because thinking about that. Anyway, so what I'd say is to mitigate that is every so often put a little bit, a bit, a little bit of a dab of three in one oil in the chuck. So just over the jaws a little bit. So just a tiny little bit. That's it. And just let that soak in a little bit. And if you do that in a regular basis, it won't jam. Now, some people might say, I've not experienced that before, but it's always good to, to know no. And then once you've got it greased up, oh God, it's done it again. If you if it does that and it jams and you try and hold it, it bloody burns your hands. Let's see if we can get it going again. Yeah, it's done it. Bloody hell. So... I'm not really selling this drill very good. It's an awesome drill. It's very, very powerful. Now, when I'm doing some big um, drilling on, a, on a, some core bits, there is an actual handle that comes with it. Hang on a minute. If I can get my hand, it comes out to about here. And honestly, you need it because the torque on this machine is unbelievable. And it can bloody... When you're drilling like that, and then you, even if you have hold of it like that, it'll fucking go around. Even, even though... It's got like a safety cutoff, so if it really, really gets bound up in a hole, it's meant to stop, and it does. But sometimes it doesn't do it straight away, and it tries to whip the the drill round. But it's done it again. It might be a little bit of a fault with the chuck actually, but anyway, bloody hell, I'm working up a right sweat. So that's it. Tool tip, keep the chuck oiled up with some three in one oil all the time. And when you're doing the changing bits, make sure the chuck jaws don't drive all the way to the back if it if it hasn't got much oil in the chuck because it chances out you'll be able to release it, but as you can see, it's um yeah, it causes a problem. With the older Makita drills, you can see that the knurling on it is both ways on the new ones, but on the older ones, the knurling used to go, go straight from front to back like that all the way around. And I think the older chucks were easier to grab hold of than these ones. But anyway, that's just me. It's a good chuck. Well, <laughs> well you say that. You said, oh, hang on a minute. You just said it jams up. But it is a good chuck and it's an amazing drill. So I hope that will be a little bit of a help to you um, in your work days for this Makita 40 volt max combi drill. An amazing bit of kit. But... As with some lo lot of things, it's got some quirkiness to it, and it's got a little bit of not perfect perfectness to it. And if you can actually, no point in getting mad and saying I'm going to get rid of it. Just just get used to its little quirkiness. I'm quirky. The drill's quirky. So okay, thanks for watching. Anyway, random is rad. Rock on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Unsubscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Tell me you love me. Tell me you hate me. Tell your friends and neighbours. Tell that weird guy from across the street with a one-eyed dog. Tell me anything. But most importantly, let's get involved.